Hi, I have here this HP 250 G1 laptop with a non-fully functional keyboard for repair. The problem with the keyboard is that few months ago several of the keys suddenly stopped working. You can see that there is no response when I press the T and Y keys and the brackets keys. Besides these, there are some other keys like the volume up that do not work as well, but all other keys are still operational. The new keyboard that I ordered finally arrived in this package. Let's open it now and see what I've got. As you can see, the keyboard hasn't been put in a proper package by the sender and it has been mechanically deformed and bent during the transport, so I needed to manually correct the deformations. Luckily, I managed to put it back in order. Now we are ready to do the replacement. Follow the next steps to replace the keyboard. First, shut down the laptop through the operating system. Disconnect all external devices connected to the laptop and disconnect the power. Close the lid and turn the laptop upside down. Slide the battery release latch to release the battery and then remove the battery. These are the three clips that hold the keyboard in place, but one of them has been broken. Clean the battery compartment from the dust. Next, remove the cover of the memory and the wireless modules compartment. Here we can see the memory modules and the wireless module. Remove the screw that secures the keyboard to the laptop. Using a small flat bladed screwdriver, push the tabs of the three keyboard clips to loosen the keyboard. Put the laptop on its left side with the bottom toward you and then partially open it. Insert a small screwdriver into the keyboard release hole and then press on the back of the keyboard until the keyboard disengages from the laptop. Lift the rear edge of the keyboard and then swing the keyboard up and forward. Release the connector to which the keyboard cable is attached and then disconnect the keyboard cable from the system board. Finally, the keyboard is removed. Clean the keyboard compartment from the dust. Except the labels, we can see that practically there is no difference between the keyboards. To install the keyboard, we need to reverse the previous procedure.
finally we can plug back the mouse and the power and turn on the laptop to see what we have done. Obviously the repair was successful, the new keyboard is working as expected. Thank you for watching and goodbye.